you oh yeah yeah let's go ahead and do that so uh the the first and foremost that that where we need to start is recalling back to uh a couple of weeks ago uh pre wrestlemania if you will uh yeah. i had posted that stone cold steve austin uh a good friend of the show uh <laughs> was He's a good friend uh, of the show stone was, cold <laughs> was going to be coming basically out of retirement to have one last match if you will uh and and uh, a friend of ours from high school uh chris uh he he bet his beard that uh it wouldn't be a match that it would be a a, a stunner and a beer bath and that would be it and i took that bet and uh unfortunately for chris uh he lost and it was it was a match it was interesting it was entertaining it was engaging um and chris did send us a photo of his beard uh and he has uh graciously agreed to join us today yes to shave his beard yes and so uh, before we bring him in, I, I want to just set the stage a little bit. So this this is a guy that we have known for uh, over 20 years at this point. Uh, we went to high school together. Uh, Chris and I were in the same class, which is one behind James. Um, we, we did theater together. Uh, you know, we... Yeah, we've we've done a lot. We've played Dungeons and Dragons together. Um, <laughs> so uh, there's, you know, while I, I can't remember the last time I saw Chris in person, I think the last time I saw him in person was when uh, I directed West Side Story. You were my assistant director, and Chris was actually our fight choreographer. Yeah. Um, and I think that's the last time I saw Chris in person and and worked with him, and that was a lot of fun. Um, and so uh, I'm excited to bring him on to our show. Uh, and and James, you got anything you want to say about the guy before we bring him in? No, man. I spent a lot of time at this guy's house. Uh, he was basically he's he's like family. So um, we we have I was uh, I was the MC of his wedding. Um, I was uh, you know we we. I mean, Fourth of July, pretty much any any holiday type deal. I was at his crib. Oh, and uh, can't forget Thanksgiving and Christmas, or yeah, Thanksgiving, and was like either gumbo or jump. His mom makes great gumbo, by the way. Like, if you didn't know, if you didn't know, you would think it was a black woman. But <laughs> but the gumbo is phenomenal. Um, and so yeah, he is he is he is like a brother. And so I am glad. I am glad live from the bay area we can bring this guy in to shave that beard <laughs> all right ladies and gentlemen let's bring him in his name is chris here he comes there he is How What's you up, gentlemen? <laughs> i'm good i'm good yes sir yes sir. so chris tell us about yourself whatever you want uh i like i like you both said uh grew up in the uh, sunny bay area i uh, guess now you guys through high school um, I am a uh, high school theater teacher now, so I left the uh, theater student realm and I'm now a teacher. Um, you might hear on the side, my little one's here to watch me shave my beard too. Um, uh, spent some time in Arizona, actually. That was where I got my teaching credential. Yeah. Uh, it was where I got to break from you guys for a while and go off on my own, um, like we all do. Uh, and I do, I think, Mark, I think you're right. I think the last time we saw in person was uh, was West Side Story, which is a blast, which is the other thing I do is uh, I do some fight choreography on the side. Um, and I'm, like you joked, a big D&D &D player. Um, I actually have my own, uh, well, not my own, I'm part of a D&D &D podcast. Uh, we do a, a, what's called an actual play. Uh, we're in our fourth season. Uh, we're called Seasons of Skyrend. It's uh, myself, uh, my wife, Shannon, um, our good friend from high school, Scott, who uh, was also in my wedding uh, he's our dungeon master and then uh, another friend of mine from work uh, nate we've been running for four years uh we're creeping up towards um what may be a very deadly battle in the next few weeks uh to get a little hint. <laughs> sheesh <laughs> so yeah it's been a lot of fun <clears throat> cool, also cool. obviously a very avid wrestling fan yes i mean we wouldn't have you here if we you know you weren't because otherwise we would have put your beard on the line <laughs> for it exactly <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> So let's talk about the beard a little bit. Um, as those of you that are watching live can see, it's it's quite magnificent. For those of you that are listening, um, it's uh, it is long. It is um, 
How how it's long full, would you say that is? A good four inches? Five a inches? good four when I straighten it out and pull it down, it's probably five or six. It's a good length. It, so it's a full it's like, chin mane. Yeah, it's it is very <laughs> flowing. He unfortunately he didn't straighten it for us today, folks. I apologize. Um and it's it's very uh almost fidel looking. <laughs> That's the first time I've had it described that way. <laughs> Uh, I think that's a comment on the salt and pepper in it, and I will take it as a compliment. Yes, yeah. there's, there's a, there's a, there is a lot more gray in there than I would expect for your age. Um, yeah, yeah, you know, I'm creeping up on forty. Um, yeah, uh, yeah, uh, less than a year away. Um, and I guess uh, being a high school teacher will do that to you. Yeah, yeah I have a joke help. with all my students. Each one of these gray hairs is a name. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure they yeah. can be. Absolutely. Yeah. So. Uh, why why grow the beard? Why why to the extent that it is? Tell us about it. Well, um, I'll be honest. I never liked myself clean shaven. Um, since high school or since a college, really, right after high school, I always kept some sort of facial hair. Usually it was a, a tight goatee. Um, and then a few years ago, I started keeping the goatee in the warmer months and then growing the full beard in the colder months. Uh, and then when uh, our first COVID quarantine hit, I just gave up on shaving entirely. I'm like, why the, why the heck am I going to do that? I ain't going um, out nowhere. And so at that point, I grew out what we in the Beardsman community call my first yeard, which is a, a beard that you've grown for a full year. Um, and then when we went back to school last year at about this time, uh, I shaved it down to a nice, tight, clean or what would some people would call clean beard um, for better comfort in my mask. Uh, and then... Just didn't shave it again from there because I realized I really did prefer the, the length, and I think I, I think I look great in it. Fair enough, and and it does look good on you. I I, I will say that as well. Um, I I'm not sad to see it go, uh, but I I would fully expect a year from now you'll probably be back to about this. Oh yeah, yeah. I've been telling everyone I shave it today <laughs> and it starts growing tomorrow. Um, <laughs> yeah, it'll start growing as soon as the razor comes off the face. There you go. There you go. So uh, how does your family feel about you doing this today? Uh, you know, my wife is supportive of all of my facial hair choices um, and has been since we started dating. Um, and there's been a lot of them over the years. Yeah. Uh, I think the only one she didn't support was when I was a, in a production of Mary Poppins and I grew out a handlebar and she did not like the handlebar. So, Yikes. Uh, <laughs> I think it was so gross. Yikes. Um, uh, you, my wait, daughter you have, here, did you have the did you have it uh the the grease and everything did yeah you use the, 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 I mean, not grease, wax uh, yeah yeah I, I wax it out and like i can get a little handlebar now if i really tried um but yeah full-on like waxed and everything and and the weirdest moment of your life is when your stage wife and your real wife both commiserate on how much they hate kissing you um <laughs> okay. so that was hey, a fun moment at least you had both of them on the same page yeah, you know, there you go. There's that. Do something right. Um, so yeah, and then my little one is here watching because she's, uh, you know, she's four. Uh, processing that sort of big change is is, is weird and wild for her. Sure. Um, she's actually for the last few months been like, "Daddy, I want you to shave." And then when it came up to it, she's like, "I don't want you to shave." And I told her, you know, <laughs> the same thing we tell her about her own hair. Hair grows, honey. Yep. yep. Yeah. 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 Uh, until it doesn't. Uh, so there is that. Yeah. 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 It's so all right. I think. Uh, James, do you have any questions before we get to the big show? No, I'm just ready to see this because uh, I've been waiting. I've been waiting to see it. <laughs> All right. So then the question I have for you um, is because I've got an electric razor here and I'm going to go electric. Do you want me to mute my mic and you guys narrow, narrate over it? Or do you want to hear the like buzz no, of this razor? We want to hear oh, it. Oh, I want to hear it all. Go ahead, and just, right. go ahead and just back away from the mic a little bit or move yeah. the mic back a little bit. But yeah, I want I want the whole shabazz. All right. Here we go. All right. So the, oh. he is now straight on with the clippers. Oh wait. That thing is struggling. <laughs> oh man. You hear it. You hear it. There now it I is. know for those of you that are listening to this after the fact, uh, this probably isn't as entertaining for you. And I, I'm sorry, but what this should do is encourage you to go watch this. Uh, yes. I I will make sure to take this specific segment of our show and split it out to its own clip. Uh yeah. Oh, by the oh, way, Chris, wow. wowzers! By the way, Chris, we're gonna need a we're gonna need this after picture too, just so that we can uh, post. We can yeah. have it side by side. I oh. got you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, thank you. 
I, I love when we get these random messages on on the different platforms. Yeah. Like. <laughs> oh, that's hey. funny. Gotta get that oh. Nick dude. Look at that. Oh man. So he, oh. I would say, is uh almost halfway done here, and. Hold, hold up some of that hair, man. <laughs> well, Yikes! <laughs> oh, you can't see it, but I really nicked my lip. That's fun. Oh, oh no. Yeah, I'll be okay. Yeah. I got a towel right here, so if I need it, it's right here. Yeah, all this is going onto a towel in front of me. You can't see, but when I'm done, I'll move the camera down, and you get a full shot of what it looks like. <laughs> so I'm curious as to the places that accept hair donations. Do do they accept beard hair? No. You can't grow so. it long enough, or like the average person can't grow it long enough. There's a terminal length for most beards that you won't get past. It's different for every person. So I'm I'm pretty sure I'm at about that with this beard, which is the other reason why. I'm, I'm not, not gonna lie to you right now, Chris. You kind of look like your dad right now. <laughs> oh well, yeah, I'm leaving the stash on for purpose. Like I figure, I'll, I'll, the last look you'll get is of me looking almost exactly like my dad. Yeah. <laughs> I'm really, I'm really happy with how well this clipper is holding up. I thought yeah, no, sure that's really good. Be... Yeah, it sounded like it was struggling, but it's doing the job. Well, it's getting, it's getting through. This is oh, oh, that was all that was you had full chin too, huh? Oh yeah, yeah. Well, so when you construct your beard, this is really weird. Um, but you got to grow the under part to give it the structure. Oh, for okay. Um, for or else it looks really wispy and like just not attractive at all. Oh, and I learned that the hard way with the first beard where I had like essentially it was like chin cubes. <laughs> that that's about oh, this what is James fun. grows. This is a fun look. Uh. <laughs> you went you went too far back with it if that was at the tip it might be uh doable that would have that looked really that's the, that was that would be the real billy goat right there it's hard because everything is like really opposite right now yeah <laughs> using the screen as a mirror <laughs> yep. there, there oh wait oh man wow Look at okay. that. So there's the, the Ludamello beard right there, the Lou beard. <laughs> you look that's his dad, like like straight up. Like, yeah. <laughs> that is his dad. All right, here goes the mustache, folks. Oh man. Look at that. There's that high school face. Yeah, there he is. God, I hated that face. <laughs> But the ladies oh, loved it, man. No, they didn't. <laughs> you knew me in high school. There were zero ladies. No, there were. There was a very small handful. Let's be honest. They were all great. Okay. Oh wow! Look at that. Who is that oh, yeah. guy? That's not the same guy. We. Oh yeah, got it. Clean, there you go. Clean that up a little bit. All right, we we now we have to expect beard updates, man. Look at that. Oh yeah, I can do that. That's easy. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna clean it up a little later with this guy. Um, no but worries. I think this, this is a good. You want to see what the pile looks yeah. like? Yes. Oh my lantern! It looks like there's a dead animal on this table. That what is that? <laughs> <laughs> what is that thing? <laughs> it's like a tumbleweed of facial hair. Oh hey. guys, so cold. How do you live like this? Uh, I live in I live in the desert, so it's uh, it 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 helps. I actually did pretty good. I didn't make as big of a mess as I thought I was going to. Ask every lady every day. Now, what's what's interesting to me is I was fully expecting that once this thing was shaved off, you were going to look like ten years younger. And you, you do look slightly younger, but it's not ten years. It's maybe like a couple years, like two or three years. And so the beard didn't age you as much as I thought it did. No, not at all. It's interesting. So, so it's good to see your you, face do, again. Do you, more, <laughs> do you feel more aerodynamic? I I feel colder. Um, <laughs> I'm looking at myself, going, "That is not me." Um, definitely? definitely will like what? Uh, the reason why I'll take the actual trimmer to it later is then I can get a full like clean from nothing growth, which is the yeah. easiest way to maintain it when I grow it back. And yeah, I'll gladly send you updates if you want them. <laughs> 
<laughs> be great. We'll see well, how I got. I, I I very much appreciate you being a man of your word, sticking true to the the, the bet and and shaving that sucker off. Well, and I will um, say too um, that you know I said it on the on the chat the last time I was on the show. We're well, not on the show, but in the chat. Um, this was probably the first bet I've ever been very happy to lose because it was a great experience watching that match with Stone Cold. So uh, we've got Debbie checking in, asking, "What does your daughter think?" Haley, what do you think? Ew. She says, "Ew." <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, it'll be back soon. Oh yeah. Yes. How long? Just, wait, so how, a uh, of how much will you grow in in like in like a week? Let's say. Um. So when I get, if I get it down to just like like shaved smooth skin, I'll get about this in a couple of days, and then it'll start to look like it's not growing for a while, like it does. Um. But by the end of the month, I should look like I've got a halfway decent, like conservative beard, is what I call it. That like really tight beard. Yeah. Um. And then I'll start to get some noticeable length in the next like three months. Okay. Okay. 